Hello everyone and welcome to our last and final part of our video tutorials on the basic concepts of trading. In this video, we will be discussing swaps, which we briefly introduced in the previous video in our series. Here we will discuss what is a swap and how they are determined, as well as how they are applied on your trading account. Now to start with, what is a swap rate? Swap rate is the underlying interest rate associated with the currencies traded in a currency pair. It is seen as a debit or credit paid or earned as a reflection of the varying interest rates applicable to the currencies traded. Every currency trade that you place or perform on your account involves borrowing one currency to buy another. For instance, let's say you go long the Aussie dollar. This means that you're essentially borrowing US dollars to buy Australian dollars. Since you've borrowed the US dollars, therefore you would need to pay an interest rate for the borrowed US dollars. And since you've bought the Australian dollars through those US dollars, you will earn an interest for the Australian dollars bought. The difference between the interest rate paid on the borrowed US dollars and the interest rate earned on the purchased or bought Australian dollars is the net interest that you earn or lose on your currency trade. So depending upon the currency pair which you are trading, swap rate charges are applied during rollovers as part of forex trading. You pay an interest on the currency that is borrowed and earn the interest on the currency that you buy. In effect, you earn or pay the interests depending upon the direction of your position. Moving on to how the swap rate is determined. Now swap rates for different currency pairs are closely related to the interbank borrowing rates of the central banks of different countries at which these banks borrow or lend with one another. The different swap rates applicable to different currency pairs, depending upon the long or short position held for that currency pair, are available to you on your trading platforms. Please note that these swap rates that you see on your trading platforms are not exactly the same as the interbank rates. Those interbank rates are slightly better as compared to the swap rates that you see on your platform. The interbank rates are only available to those big banks and not to retail traders like you and me. However, to ensure a true representation of an interbank market, these swap rates are very close to the interbank rates. You can find the swap rates of different currency pairs through your trading platform through the market watch window. Just right click in the market watch window and select symbols. Select the currency pair for which you need to know the swap rate let's say the Aussie dollar and select properties. This will open the window with the contract specifications which I'll show the swap rates for both long and short positions on the Aussie dollar. As you can see the swap rate for long positions on Aussie dollar is positive while the swap for short positions on the Aussie dollar is negative. What this means is that you earn an interest rate for holding a long position on the Aussie dollar while you pay an interest rate that is 10.9 points on your account for each short position that you hold on the Aussie dollar for each day that the position is rolled over from one value date to the next. There are a few important things to consider about swap rate charges. Firstly, the swap charges are given in points and not in pips on your MD4 platform. However, since each pip is worth 10 points, therefore, you can do the conversion for your calculation purpose. These swap points are applied in terms of your trading account based currency depending upon the size of your trade position. So for example, a long swap of 8.2 points on the Aussie dollar for a one standard lot position would be worth 0.82 pips equivalent 
of your account based currency. So for a USD based account, this would be equal to 8.2 US dollars. Next thing to note is that the swap is applied for every individual trade position that is rolled over from one trading day to the next. These swap rates keep changing from time to time depending upon the fluctuations in the interbank interest rates of the different central banks of countries. Therefore, it is important that you keep yourself updated with the latest swap rates, which you can do by referring to our website. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. Hope this information will be of use to you.